All right, guys, today we are going to be reacting to Andrew Wilson School's conservative feminist on woman in the military. Oh, Lord. It's going to be nice. Jump in. Well, see, that's I don't think they should. I don't think they should be drafted either. Yeah, because they have that right from God to not be because drafted. Because we're women, right? Yeah, we, we that's your right. Think, from God. Tell, think of it from a logical standpoint, okay? okay? Let's think of the logic here. Women... Okay, women are who are going to birth the future generations to keep your nation going stronger, correct? Yeah. So if you send a bunch of your women out to war to die, you are going to severely impact your population numbers in your nation because oh. if you you could have fewer men essentially and and more women and you can still balance your population. Let me let me come in really quick. Well, okay. Big hole in this line of argument. Okay, so that's one argument. The other <laughs> argument is that because women are physically not as strong, because women menstruate, because women have carry pregnancies, um, I think that those are reasons why I, I don't think that it would be beneficial to have them in military service. I think it's probably going to be more of a, a burden on the military than it would actually be a well, help. Well, to, to argument one, uh -huh. you actually, you would still create a, ga a gaps argument with this as well. Even if you sent men off, you would end up with less men which means that unless you suddenly become a Christian polygamist, you're still gonna have less men than are required to impregnate the women. And I'm guessing you want one woman per one man. So even sending men off to die, you're still gonna eat, you're still gonna have this problem, right? Well, technically not. Technically not what? Well, like, like if you were to think of, I'm not necessarily advocating for this, but if you had a, a situation where you had a severely declined population mm -hmm. in a nation and you had to increase the numbers, you could increase the numbers via um, like in breach of fertilization, you could you could do other types of, and there were people who in used vitro to do fertilization. Would God not vibe with that? Highly, well, first, <laughs> right. in well, vitro I fertilization, in, in, vitro in vitro fertilization is highly expensive. If mm -hmm. you look at Israel, Israel has a massive IVF program. It costs their state millions upon millions upon millions, mostly our dollars yearly, and it's not very. Damn! Look at that. Oh wow! Look reason. at that comment. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. Look at that, what Alvin said, merely, you just made the case of why the 19th Amendment should be deleted, taken away. She's not doing a good argument here, folks. And again, let me just put this into context. She's supposed to be a conservative. This is what the conservative movement has as a problem. You have conservatives, feminists. Right, this is ridiculous. It's not very effective. It's but the, only, but the other hang on, reason, hang on, I'm almost done. It's, o it's only raised it slightly. You still would end up with this gaps argument. If you're a Christian, you believe one man for one woman, you would still be decreasing the population of men, which means that unless you switch over to polygamy, you have this, the, the argument actually turns on you. If women out there were dying at the same ratio that men were, right, and con then you would have exactly the amount of men and women that you would need to repopulate, right? But then... The well, not necessarily. I mean, you could technically. Well, I don't boost. know. I know no, math. You could, you could I'm, do. I'm mathing you it in my brain right now. If you had a dying population <laughs> on, a, on an island, okay, mm -hmm. and you had ten women and ten men, if you were to try to send your people off to go, you know, fight another a group of people, yeah. you would be smart to preserve as many women as you could because you'd be able to uh, create, you know, yes, duplicate unless... your numbers. As long as you had a couple men, you could duplicate the yes, population. Yes, but then numbers. you would be endorsing polygamy, right? Right, and there were times when people yeah, didn't but that's ah, there we go, there we go. Yeah, she got caught. That's it. That's the end of the argument. That's it. How many? Thirteen minutes. We can cut. We can cut the video right now. She just got caught. She just got caught. And this is the problem of, of, of voting. I'm not gonna talk too much about it because you do can be kind of funky sometimes. But this is the problem right here. You have to protect. You have to have at least the capability, right, to protect your rights. And this is one of those arguments. And I don't think she's doing a good job. Christian ethic, is it? Polygamy. Well, some Christians, I guess. Oh, so like. are they the same ones that have female pastors? Well, no, it's <laughs> actually... Is it those it, Christians? No, it's actually... <laughs> That's actually a fact, though, that there were Christian groups that, that resorted to polygamy to boost their numbers. Yes, but anyway, and it's immoral, though, okay. from the Christian ethic, okay. right? And I, do do agree talk, with that, no, right? We're, we're talking about, we're putting on our, our logical uh, like yes. na nation hat right now as far as what a nation should do for a military. Uh -huh. I'm not talking about it from necessarily a Christian standpoint. Yeah, but that was your argument. But the other, no, that's not what I said. Now, it, here's yes, it the was other what thing. you said. Here's the other thing. There's another, um, another argument here for it, which is, 
women should have their own sports, right? Because if men compete in women's sports, we all know that the men are going to win because they're stronger, they're faster, the way they're built, built um, anatomically, what she's saying they again? are, uh, you know, th they're stronger, they're faster. So there's no real point to putting a female in a combat situation with men when we know the woman's most what likely going to lose. they're all just in support roles? Well, support roles is another thing. So they should be drafted for support roles. Well, if, if it were just something like support roles, as in being a nurse or something like phone, communication lines, Most then I would be Most roles in the military okay are not combat roles. Well, if it's non-combat roles, I would say that then I would agree that, you know, women could be conscripted. But I would say that if there I are thought mothers, that earlier you said listen, it goes against God's ontological nature that he made women with. Nope, yes, you I did. I didn't say God. <laughs> you did. You said their no, nature... Their nature for the draft is that. part of... Yes, you no, did. No, I said because women menstruate, because mm -hmm. women uh, carry pregnancies, because women's Warm. bodies are weaker. I was talking about that being why women shouldn't be in the military. And I think that it would be more of a burden to have them in... Switch. And you're saying, you're pointing out that, okay, well, maybe we have them in non-combat roles. And I would say, well, if, if they were limited to having the women in non-combat roles, mm -hmm. then I would say, okay, but we clearly see that that's not the case. We see that there are women who are being forced to be in combat roles. But if they limited it to only non-combat roles, <coughs> then I would say, okay, that might be something that I could be in agreement with as long as the women are not mothers that have to tend to children. Okay, so backing up on the basis of argument one, which is, well, if we send the men off to war and a bunch of them die, we can just do polygamy. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess, but that would be against your Christian ethics. I'm not so, necessarily saying that that's... I get it. So that, that one's argument. rejected, right? Obviously, you don't believe that shit, right? That would be bad. What I'm and saying is if in you order had to equalize... people, a, a society that the population was ser seriously hurt because... Mm -hmm. Because look, what happened in World War II? You had hundreds, millions, hundreds of millions of people being killed. And they and solved that with age much, gap relationships. Right, and how, how much how much harder would it have been to recuperate our population mm -hmm. numbers if we had sent, if half of those were women? But you know what's crazy? It would, That's it probably not the would problem taken... either. Because still, the majority are men are not even reproducing. So that will not even be a problem, folks. That will not be a problem. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. That will not even be a problem. Because if the majority of men are not reproducing, that will force females to just downgrade their uh, standard. Even if people, if guys go to war, you still have men for reproduce, to reproduce. We don't have to do polygamy, no, we don't have to do none of that stuff. We don't have to, because I think it's only 40% of men, I think it's the one that reproduce, so you still have, you still have 60%. Even if, let's say, 10% of them go to war, you still have, what, 40% of them? So there's no excuses a lot longer <coughs> to recuperate our population. You would have exactly the amount of men to women, though. No, that's why it makes no sense, right? The, the, the argument falls back on you either way. So either A, women and men go out and they have roughly the same losses, so there's just as many men as there are women, or B, men go out and a bunch of them die, and now you have less men than are necessary for polygamous relationship with women. You can't have your cake and eat it too here. Yep. Well, here's the thing. If women, if, if you're talking about having the women in non-combat roles anyway, then the women aren't going to be being put in the position of dying. Yeah, but that, so therefore, we weren't talking about that originally. Yeah, women and that's what I'm roles. saying. One of my arguments that was up. population <laughs> numbers, but what I'm saying is if what, your argument was, okay, well, what if the women are in the non-combat roles? Right. Well, therefore, it wouldn't be affecting population numbers because the women are not going to be in direct combat they're not going to be in combat their, their lives are not likely to be being taken from them so mm -hmm. you, at that point it's uh it's less likely to run Whoa, into the brian, very problem brian, that brian. I was now let's let's move into well, i don't know why brian does this and this is old school brian this video was you know six months ago was not that old school but i don't know why he does that man you know what i'm saying like it's so nice to show he does whatever he does i love the show the show is very good but sometimes he does this kind of Weird stuff. They having a good back and forth, but he being quirky, huh? quirky. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Let me know what you guys think. Do non-combat roles wouldn't it still be effective even in the non-combat roles to have men serve in those roles than women, since a lot of them require a lot of physical labor. Well, I think that I think that it it's possible for some women to be able to fulfill that 
role, outliers, but yes. I think that the outliers, right? Uh-huh. Like the, the set, six foot tall, big <laughs> girls that can do yeah, that. Yeah, all 26 of them. Yeah. You know, right. But I think that as a whole, most women are not going to be suited for uh, like military roles. service at all, right? Well, I would say so especially why should we, combat If they can't roles. defend the nation, then they can't. I'm not saying military service at all. I agreed with if you. If they can't that defend they can our nation as a roles. whole, and you're depending on men then to defend your nation for you hey. and go out and die, that's why I think they should be able to vote, and you shouldn't. Okay, well, you just acknowledge that women Damn, could perform no, he's, non-combat he's roles. As long as he's, just, he's very good at just letting the argument just grow, let the argument sit for a little bit, and bring it back home. This is crazy, man. Them. Your own argument. No, I didn't. Okay. Defeat You're, my own argument. Defeat you yours did. three times here. You just Let's contradicted go through it. your own argument I'll, we'll earlier. We'll go all You're three just, times. There's no contradiction. You're, You're literally contradicting. There's no contradiction. I was granting your argument for the purpose of destroying it. I showed you, yes, even if we added them as non-combatants, gave you that argument if, to save you from you. Were, if this were Tron, even if you we were to, already a million Even times. if we were to grant He's your argument. He's contradicting himself. What's the contradiction? Give the me contradiction me. was you just said. Uh-huh. You literally said uh-huh. that women can do non No, I said, roles. what if we move them into those okay, roles? Okay, because mm-hmm. you know they're capable. No. You wouldn't have even have suggested <laughs> no. that. If you That's why we clarified okay. immediately after by saying, okay. wouldn't men be better in those right. roles? And so you were like, you're, you're yeah, they would, yourself. Andrew. They would be better in those roles. The reason, here's, hear me out, guys. The reason I think Andrew's a little bit feisty with her is because she's one of these conservatives. They have, it's one of these conservatives that are con- supposedly conservative, but man, they're very bossy. And her problem is that you see that she needs to be right, right? And you you can say you can see how she's just over talking. You don't you don't know say like. And Andrew knows this because he did his homework, right? He he probably Brian probably probably told him like, hey, Miller Weaver's coming. Uh, just make sure you do some of your homework. And he said, okay, let me just go and watch videos of her. And, and then he he recognized, oh, that she's one of these supposedly conservatives. They're more of my feminists. That's what happened with uh, Laura Shen, supposedly a conservative, but she's always in the mercy of these liberal uh, po- uh, uh, ideologies. And this is what's happening right now. You cannot have the right to vote if you cannot defend it, period, or the capability or possibility to do so. That's it. That's it. Or, or make it better. Make it better. You have to be married. You have to be have a property. If you get divorced, you don't get the right to vote. That's it. Cause we cannot keep doing this. Fuck, this is just crazy, man. They, they, you see, this, some of these politicians they just catering to these demographic like crazy, man. Like they're dumb, man. like they're dumb as a rock. And this is a problem. We have to fix it. We have to fix it. Rules. And I was like, yeah, see, I grant everyone's argument for the purpose of no, destroying contra- it twice. No, you're contradicting There's no contradiction. Yourself. Point it out. Okay, the contradiction was you suggested that women can fulfill non-combat roles. I granted roles. your argument, yes. No, that was your argument. You I, presented that. I said, what if we move them into you non-com roles? You presented that. Rewind. Everyone can rewind. I said, what if we move them into non-com roles? You argument. said, yeah, we could do that. So then I said, but even if we did, wouldn't men be better in that role? You said, yes, absolutely. And I went, well, then that's really not a viable argument either. Would they be better in the role, <laughs> yeah. in a non-combat role? Yes. They would be better in a yes. non-combat role. I have seen gum less elastic than the moral of this blown mega feminist environment this woman here. That's what it is, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And I know a lot of females like that very close to my family. They're supposed to be MAGA, man, but they're the most feminist ever, man. Uh, they, they they want to have the, the gold and the rope at the same time. It's crazy. Combat role. <laughs> so You're then, right. if we want the most effective military, we want it to be men. Therefore, men are the enforcers. And even if we did move women, all women, into non-combat roles, mm-hmm. they still would not be going out and doing the killing and the dying. So therefore, they still should get the big piece of chicken, the extra question. piece of meat, and the voting rights. Okay, here's the question. Is, is, is sitting there behind a desk operating a drone a non-combat role? <sighs> uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it it's is classified. a non-combat role because when you are is it is yeah, it classified it is. as a non-combat role? I'm not sure. You're sitting. It's not hand-to-hand combat. Okay, so? it's not physical combat. So what? That you doesn't can mean it's. You sit behind a desk so and you cannot operate. Being in a, a tank's not hand-to-hand combat either. 
<laughs> is that a non-combat role? You're in a tank. Good point, man. Andrew's very good. His mind, his his mind works works so quick. What about an F-16? That's not hand to hand. Well, there are well there aren't that many women pilots. It does take a lot of physical impact on your body to be a pilot. Right. So because the best pilots are going to be men. Force. The best tankers are going to be men. The best non-combatants are going to be men. And the best combatants are going to be men. We well, want the most powerful military. We know that men are going to enforce your rights. Therefore, men get to vote because they have more stake in the game and you don't. Damn. Damn. You have the men that are being sent off to die. <laughs> you get you don't want they need to be right. A little bit of sand language there. Put it on top of the cake. She still don't want it. This is the problem, folks. And this is supposed to be a Christian person. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Huh. I'm just Men saying. Men could have you whether you wanted to, them to have you or not. That's the point of enforcement. The point of enforcement is regardless of what women want, whatever they claim, where they claim, oh, no, we're equal. We're ontologically equal. We're physically equal. We have the same knowledge bases. We have all. Men can just take what they want. Collectively, if men say tomorrow you have no rights, you don't okay, have so, any. So you're going back to thinking women shouldn't have the right to vote. I'm That's saying not. to you and, that and due to enforcement, if men say collectively tomorrow you have no rights, you don't have any. Can can do, would you like me to point out country after country where this is true? It's horrible. But That's I thought definitely. they were inherent from God. They they are. Ooh, let's go, Andrew. I love Andrew. I love Andrew. That uh, over nine thousand. I'm gonna call it like that, Andrew over nine thousand. I love him, man. He he's so good. He's killing it. Oh, they should be. But the is what you people meant to say. people choose to do bad things. The people, only reason why men are but I thought to, that it was inherent. People choose to break from God's will else. all the time. Uh -huh. It's called sin. Okay. It's because He gave us free will. So, so Renee, God gave you, you going to God say? gave you rights, and you just ignore them. I was I was going to ask him. Mm -hmm. All men are enforcers because of the historical trend of men, men being in power. No, but it's because they can literally stomp you to death. And there's nothing you can okay, do about it. Okay, true. Do you give your wife any say in decisions? There we go. Try to use a little bit of more shame language shame and guilt Household. if we lived in an like a female okay so your wife has to say i know you think that's impossible <laughs> but if i can pose <laughs> that hypothetical that we live in an all female government where the women are the ones who enforce the rights is that women can't enforce the rights they would still rely on men to enforce the rights okay let's so let's, if men so i'll, I'll explain it physically yes. i'll explain hang, hang on the woman me. could be a I'm queen trying to explain and then it the man can no, enforce the rights nope. but why can a woman not vote in that i'm gonna scenario? explain it to you so Go that ahead. you know yeah okay Let's say you had a 100% powerhouse government of all women. They're mm -hmm. all She-Ra bitches in tight leather who do ninja kicks in men's faces. Problematic, They okay. are mm -hmm. the action movie stars that you have seen. They are the Black Widows, okay? <laughs> Still wouldn't matter because ultimately the enforcement of the population, if it collectively the said, nope, they're gone. And there's nothing they can do about it, but in reverse, it's not true. If men collectively say to women, we're in charge and you're not, you couldn't do shit. That's the distinction. But Whether or not you're in charge is always going to be based on men allowing you to be in charge because collectively they can take that away. Women could not collectively take it away from them. So your whole argument is... She did not even hear it. She didn't hear it. She was ready already to, to just chime in. She didn't even hear what she was, he was trying to say. None of it. ...should be able to vote and women know because That's men are physical. That's not what he's saying. That's not what he's saying, God. He's saying basically that the only ones that can have, even have, some skin in the game, it should be men because they're the enforcement. That's it. That's it. Because that 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 argue, argument in itself, because of the enforcement. If females couldn't enforce the, the those rights without the help of men, hey men. Hey, they have skin in the game. But that is the problem. The only reason. Females had the, you know, the power of voting is because men allow it, and which is true, which is true. Really stronger, and men can because, physically overpower them, and that's the definition no. of rights. Let's see, let's see. Because men, the argument. Works. So your whole argument is men should be able to vote, and women no, because men are physically stronger. And men can because, physically overpower them. And that's the definition no, of rights. No, his argument no. is that the reason they should have the right to vote is because they have the inherent like burden. The burden of, of defending the you. The burden is being physically stronger. Oh, my no. God. Not just physically stronger. Yes, it is, because stronger. if we were physically stronger, then all of this would be reversed. But you're not. Yeah. 
But, so who cares? Well, you were but just who's telling... to say that's not just an anatomical argument? That well, doesn't have any Wait a second. So, valency. Let's assume for a second that it is just an anatomical argument. So what? Are, aren't you losing out on thousands, hunt, mil, billions of women for your economy, for your scientific no. No. advancement? No, no. Why, they, those they bitches think? can still work. They just can't vote. Please keep this blonde woman off the panel. I have love for you. No, 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 no. I know, I know, I know, I know. Some of the guys don't like this, but the back and forth is important. Why is important? You need to confront these ideas. These ideas never. I The only guy that I see that was just pushing those ideas back in the early 70s and early uh, uh, 80s, uh, it was Thomas Sowell. Outside of that, I haven't seen anybody. I haven't seen anybody. Well, I seen a couple of years after, 50 years, well, it started with Kevin Samuels and, you know, Tom Lysky was doing it a little bit, but nobody was taking it serious. To, uh, Kevin Samuels really put this out there. He really put this out there. And this just opened a Pandora box and all of a sudden we're having these conversations. So that's what happened. Oh, those, are they going to want to work if they can't vote? Do we care they what they wanna... want inherently? That's the point. The point I, is, um, if you have the enforcement arm and the enforcement yeah. collective of the enforcement arm, people don't have a choice. You don't get to go, well, then we don't want to work. They go, then why oh, we don't care vote? if you want to work. Then That's why can the women point. vote? Then why can women vote? <laughs> um, then why can women vote? Because they're allowed to. By the... Oh, my God. They don't, I don't think they want to have that argument. Let me know what you guys see in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one.